Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today we are standing out here at our hay trailer because I've got a new tool and I'm wanting to try it out. And the tires on this hay trailer are, you know, just dry rotted. They're cracked really bad. They're actually still holding air. We put the green slime in those tires two years ago and I have not put air in them since. But I have a new tire to put on here that somebody gave me and it's just been sitting around and I thought this might be the perfect opportunity to actually try out the Harbor Freight manual tire changer. So let's go ahead and pull this tire off this trailer and we'll put it on the changer and see if we can get it loose. Now, this is why I wanted to test this out because the tires have been on this trailer for years and years and years. So if there's gonna be a stubborn tire to break loose from the bead, it's gonna be on this trailer right here. So I think we're gonna put that tire changer to the ultimate test. So as you can see, this tire is cracked all around it. And then on the inside, this thing's just cracked all to pieces. But amazingly, with the tire slime in it, it's actually holding air still. I'm gonna take the valve stem out in order to deflate the tire quicker. So now that all the air is out of the tire, we're gonna set it on our machine and this might take a little bit of adjusting to get this set just right but the main thing is you want to get it set behind your wheel and against the bead And that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this old tire would be extremely hard to get off here, but that actually took the bead all the way around. So let's flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we're loose all the way around the tire on that one. So now that the tire's loose, I'm gonna spin off our cap, pull off our holding plate. I'm gonna set the wheel up here. And as you're setting it on, kind of guide this stud up through it because that'll kind of help keep the wheel from turning while you're working on it. So we're going to put our plate back on and then our tightener. Then we're going to snug that up just a little bit. So I've got some dishwashing liquid here. Actually, I'm using car wash soap and I mix it pretty strong. But whenever I go to remount the tire, I actually am going to use a bead lubricant because it also will help you get your beads seated back on the rim. But this actually makes it a whole lot easier to spray in your tire and get on that bead than it is trying to brush it on. So we're going to take our tool, stick down behind the tire. On the back side, we're going to make sure that the tire is down below the inset in the rim so that it'll pull into this shallow spot. And now we're just gonna go around the rim. So there's the top side. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. So I'm gonna reach through 
with the tool and I'm gonna pull the tire up to that narrow side and get in behind the bead. And there's our tire. Now, this tire, like I was saying before, did have the tire slime in it. So that's what all this wet is here. And I can see that the rim stuff in here is actually pretty rusted, which is maybe why that the tire wouldn't hold air before. There's quite a bit of rust and stuff around this rim. So I'm gonna clean this stuff up the best that I can before we put the new tire back on. So this wheel isn't pretty. There's a lot of pitting and stuff here, but I took a wire brush around this thing and cleaned up anything that was loose. So we're gonna try it. I don't know how well it'll hold with all this pitting and stuff on here, but the main thing here is actually trying out the tire changer and seeing how well it works. And so far it's working out really good. So I may end up having to put some tire sealant back into this, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens here. This is a really old rim on a hay trailer and I actually wouldn't expecting it to be rusted that bad on the inside, but we'll see. I may eventually just replace the wheels or something on this trailer, but with this tire changer, it's looking like that I'm gonna have the option to be able to do that kind of stuff because that's one of the main reasons I've got this. I've got 16 tires on four trailers. So I thought that it would be really handy to have a tire changer. That way I didn't have to take it to a shop all the time. And if something happens and you need to change a tire or something needs to be fixed on a Sunday when everybody's closed, then you're, you're kind of at everybody else's mercy that way. So if you can do it yourself, then I see this as a win. So I went ahead too and got me some cleaner and cleaned up these beads and stuff good and made sure there's no dirt or anything because this tire just been laying outside for a long time. Also, I went through and cleaned out the inside, wiped it down. So we are ready now to mount it back to our wheel. And you can kind of see the backside, how much stuff's on here. But like I say, I cleaned this bead off and stuff good and made sure that was nice and clean. So I'm using this extra seal, extra slick tire bead lubricant. And you can probably use a multitude of different things, but I've heard that if you didn't use like a kind of a specified bead lubricant sealant, that it would cause it to hold moisture in there. Like if you use Dawn dishwashing liquid or something, then the water in there would actually cause that rim to rust, which as you could see, we are definitely already rusted pretty good, but if I can keep it from rusting anymore or at least prolong it as long as I can, then I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna use this actual bead sealant and lubricant on here. And this stuff's actually really slimy like, a lot different than water and uh, dish liquid. So now we're going to lube up the top side. And you can be very liberal with your tire lube because the more lube the better. Especially on one of these old rusty wheels like this.
Now this is one of the trickier parts of trying to do this. If you had a second person, it could make it easier, but you have to keep that tire down inside this inner lip in order for it to stretch out or to be able to go around that. And if you need to, the last little bit, you can take your tire iron and just work it around and work it on there. Now, I'm going to push the tire down onto the bead on the bottom side as much as I can. I'm going to hook the air up to it. So I'm having a little trouble getting the bead to seat. So I'm gonna to try to run a ratchet strap around the tire. And hopefully that'll balloon it out enough to get the air to get into it. When this tire first started going on here, I thought that I was gonna have a trouble with it leaking, but I've got that soapy uh, tire bead sealant around this tire and it was bubbling originally, but now all the bubbles have gone away and I believe it sealed up really good. So I gotta say our Harbor Freight manual tire changer is already paying for itself. Today's actually a holiday and everybody's closed. So if this would have been an emergency where I had to have this done and had to have it to put the hay trailer back in the field, 
then I would have been stuck having to take this to a tire shop or somewhere. So this really could come, could be a lifesaver in a clutch. Also, it's gonna save me money for trips and stuff going to a tire changing place just for trailer tires. As far as just changing one out or, you know, like uh, putting a patch in one or something like that, then this is gonna be a very handy tool for that. Plus, we've got four trailers around here, which equates to 16 tires. So we're all the time having that possibility that we're gonna need to change a tire or something's gonna happen uh, just like on my dump trailer, I've actually got a tire that was flat on it, so I'm gonna have to change it. So I already have two tires that I'm gonna need this tool for, and the last tire I had repaired cost $35. So this tire changer was only about 60 bucks, so two tires and this tire changer basically is free. So anything from now on, this tire changer is already paid for itself and it's saving that much money every single time. So our hay trailer that we got from K&H Tractors YouTube channel uh, is now fixed up to where that we're ready to use it again. And that's one less thing we're gonna have to worry about are those old cracked tires, you know, coming apart or having a failure there. So now we've got a good tire on there we're not gonna have to worry about. So if you enjoyed today's video, appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep it outdoors.